King Abs. And we're gonna do some more Final Fantasy 14. Thanks for joining me, and uh, what's it called? We're gonna be raiding another dungeon today. But before that, just wanna quickly check something. Check. Yeah, just checking the sound. See if the sound and everything is alright. And we're good. Don't want to have a... Don't want a repeat of what happened uh, yesterday. So yeah, let's get to it. Take your... Uh, I'll take my village mission and then I'll probably get to doing the Halatali away. I don't know, it's not very long, but you were but one of the many adventurers seeking to make their way into Eorzea. Yeah, of course! But for your character and courage, you were raised to the esteemed post of the envoy. Therefore, you traveled the realm, aided those in need without th thought of reward, confirming to Eden and Pavli that the science would benefit from your aid. Of course, I'm such a, I'm a benevolent man! What, it, what is there to expect? And you have achieved a great deal in short time and won a fame in doing so. Alas, fame does not come without a price. As you will soon discover, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. We have guests now, or rather, you have guests. Beg pardons. You see? Rude guys, bro. They just push past. Ah, Lady Minfilia, radiant as always. Of course. I'm given to understand that the Sands of Seven Dawn have put recently welcomed their new hero into their midst. I'm here on the behalf of the Maelstrom Grand Company of the Limited Monster to offer set hero a place of honor within our ranks. As you can see now, your recent exploits have garnered you the attention of the grand companies of Eorzea. Each organization would have if it's been for its for its own. To end this, all three have sent officers to court you. <laughs> they would not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist a new recruit that they have evidences of their high regard of you. That they are I find myself wondering how word of Nam's deeds spread so quickly that the immortal flame should know of his triumph to be expected. But what other but what of other grand companies? Ah, <laughs> we got big mouth. Eep, eep. Yeah, we got big mouth in the we got big mouth in the works. Your reputation precedes you, Master Yansa. Tis no ordinary man who can face a prime war and emerge the victor. And imagine our pride when we learned that you began your journey as an adventurer in our own Gudanya. Know that the people hold you in high esteem, that you will always be welcome among us. Of course. The Order Twin Ada has need of your valiant of valiant men such as you. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us ensure that the peace ever reigns over the Tor's world. What a pleasure is finally meet you, Master Yansa. My comrades speak of you in the most glowing terms. A man of your talent belongs with the immortal flames. Join our strength and join our strength to uh, to ours, friend, and together let us secure a prosperous future for Ulda. Well, you know, I plan on helping all of you, but in my own way. The Admiral was not exaggerating when she said you had the look of a hero. For often does she speak of you, friend. It is only natural that we should want you for the Maelstrom. Join your strength to ours, and together let us see the grand vessel of Lim Limza Lominza to the stores of glory. Lady Menthilia. 
very well. Though I am quite sure you need no reminding, may have a brief summary of the situation will help clarify it. Thoughts on this matter? As you know, the grand companies are all encompassing organizations empowered to call upon the martial economic and technological resources of their perspectives. A city states in times of strife. There are pl presently three such organizations in Ayosa the Maelstrom of the Limited Lumisa, the Order of the Twin Ada, Gudania, and the Immortal Flames of Ugo. How do you know which one I'm picking? Serving a grand company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be charged with its defense and tasked with advancing its cause. In return for episode, you'll be furnished with various rewards, some will may prove useful to you in other, other endeavors. If you are agonizing over which grand company best deserves your loyalty, at be at ease. The commitment you make this day will not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance to a later day, you are entitled to do so. And yeah, I can see it. No small choice. Yeah, I, I know it is no small choice, but I know what I'm picking. A thought occurs to me. You will, of course, recall the three city states are planning to hold a remembrance service. Well, as part of the proceedings, I am given to understand that the leader of each grand company will deliver an address. Hearing the addresses ought to help you make an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? A fine suggestion. You are wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Very well. Um, let our leader speak, then return here with his decision. We eagerly await your answer. <laughs> In stereo. Wait, that's not the way out. Whoa, whoa, get back here, you snitch! Oh, that's it. I know full well that the adventurers are by nature a liberty-loving breed, and not best suited to the discipline of military service. Though I strongly urge you to join a grand company nonetheless, while the promise of rewards is enticing itself, it is not the only benefit. You are possessed of great power, Nam, and with, all it, with it capable of doing untold good. Yet, no, the great power it won't attract attention, not all it fr friendly. There will be those who wish you ill. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, I'm going to have the bad guys on me as well as the good guys. You must you must need to be on the lookout for them. Yet, yeah, however vigilant you are, but, but one man. In the midst of a grand company, however, you will be one man against many, a friend amongst friends. Yeah, it was. My guy Toki told me that, like, I think uh, you got to take grand company missions to get the most powerful weapons. So, like the 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 relic weapons. Of course, joining one organization need not mean leaving another. I hope that we can continue to rely upon the aid of the twelve. Know that we will have need of it in the days a days ahead. Grand companies seek to protect their their own nations. We stands on the other hand seek to preserve the future of Israel as a whole. Similar yet not quite the same. Now then, I expect that you will be a field, a field more often in the future. As such, I would carry this link pole with you at all times. Ah, oh. futuristic, huh? Hey, yours is changing now, and you have the power to help shape it anew. None can say what the morrow will bring, but so long as we believe in ourselves, there is what not we cannot achieve. Now it's time you make ready for your journey. Before your departure, be sure to speak to Tartru. Sure, I prize you as to where and when the remembrance services are due to take place. Oh, I guess. Nice. Okay, well, before that, let's get this. Oh, before I forget, Happy New Year to everybody watching. I hope your year will be prosperous. What's this? Leveling. Adventures need, Guildhurst. It's the dungeon I want. And we join. So let's get this on the other one. So yeah. So I do know which company I'm choosing. It's go it's obviously man, it's my birth my birthplace, Gridania. Well not my birthplace, but where it all started. 
with the name of the king, be where the name of the king reigns supreme. Your king, the Nam Yatsa king. Western Tanalan. Take longer than expected, but I might go for the relic weapons in this one. Like throwing relics, the strongest weapons in the game, might go for them. Um, I'm sorry about all the attention you're getting now. I might have sung your praises a little too loud. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm sure you did. And often, are too few many people. Ahem, next time, I'll be sure to hold my tongue. Yeah, you better. I don't like when there's too much attention. That when when the when the remembrance services are taking place. If your plans are good, goes to my grand is going the order of the twin adder. Will hold the first of the three services, and the other CCC Kane Sana will deliver the address. Now, me and Kate will find I should probably mention at this point that, due to the organizational challenges involved assembling all the involved parties, it's possible that the order of services might change. Still, there's not much we can do about that, so good on your, your first port call. Yeah, of course. Next, you will need to go to Ulda where the flames, our flames Aldine will be dressing the masses at the Royal Promenade. Uh, oh, and it's rumored that there's to be a special guest. How exciting. Last but not least, make sure you're at the state room in Lumsa Lumsa with the Marshal Chief Admiral Millweb. We're giving her address. Ah, I guess. Find your remembrance services, set on educational, visit the state, aim up prescribed order, though with all your uh, applicable timing and luck, the schedule may well change in favour of the travel plans. Nice. Alright. All right. So the first one is in Gudania. We go there. Not that one. Ah! I'm still waiting for my Elgato to come in. It hasn't come in. I thought it would have come in yesterday. And then I remember yesterday was the 31st. I don't think I think there might be issue with the UK mail around that time, so yeah. If I wasn't getting it yesterday, definitely not getting it today. Ooh, sunrise. Wow, not many people here. Down. Oh, Mia Keto, the Mia Keto shrine, they call go there. Eat that. Where is it? Oh, Mia Keto Amphitheatre. So yeah, what the dungeon we're gonna do that? Uh, I think the Halatali Shrine, the Halatali Shrine. We're gonna be doing that. The destination. Old Gudania. I lost my son to the calamity. Oh, that's, that's a shame. The three seed seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body. Our forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood. Fearful of the green wrath, they hid themselves in the dark recesses of the earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the elementals, and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gridania was born, some five centuries ago. Oh wow, I thought it was longer. Working hand in hand, the Hure and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization, and soon they were joined by folk of all races. The Pan Galactic Alliance. I mean, I mean, um, Gridania. So nourished by the waters of unity, and blessed by the light of the matron. Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Do you see the Gridanian standard? There, 
hanging behind the elder seat seer. Alfin. The entwined serpents represent the unity between Hur and Elizin. An elegant symbol. Do you not agree? In accordance with the will of the elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. God, Though God we Gridanians have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. When the Garlean Empire brought its War of Conquest to Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance, that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. Battle so bad that they had to take that they had to take it down. <laughs> As supreme commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day. For soon came the calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed. Each waking hour, a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. Oh, evil. Evil to in the world. our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease, and prey upon the vulnerable. Sick. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could a walk the high the roads without fear. On this day, five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. <laughs> and how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? Oh, wow. Cold as ice. The destruction wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Let them be honored not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder Standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds, that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. 
for serenity, purity, and sanctity. We must think of the children. What will be done? It's up to what us to protect the forest. All the element It's a bit, how can I say it? Cliche. Very cliche. If you'll permit me, Alfie, no. Yeah, I know who you are. And my sister, Alize, at your service. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. Guardians are the Guardians are unfortunate enough to have contend with two beast tribes. Makes a lot of more troublesome. Being naturally warlike disposition. Ah, great. Uh. Yeah. You know what? I think I might have to see the cutscene again, but I'll probably skip it. I'll skip it the next time. I've already seen it. Yeah, Halatali Dungeon. I'll probably have to see the see it again, but Oh look at that. Anna land baby. Alatali. Hey, what's up people? Oh! Only four missions. I wonder what this dungeon's gonna have for us. Come on. Oh, shit, get out of the way, man. Come on! Gonna go bang! Yeah, damn it. I can't use heavy I can't use heavy thrust. No, I can't use full thrust. the whole of the cesty. Check the big guy out first. Get some bow. Oh yeah, forgot to stun him. Don't go after him. Come on. I think once once I get farther enough, what I'll do, I'll do like a big like dungeon raid 
where I'll just be doing nothing but dungeons. Not now, maybe uh, later, later, later. Come on. Come on, you. Can't do it, he's stunned. Dun, dun. Oh, boss battle. All of the system. Come on. Burn, baby. <laughs> Alright, we, we already deal with Ifrit. Ifrit, you are nothing, mate. Wait. Where? Right now, he's nearly dead anyway. <laughs> Done. Oh, four grand, nice. Shouldn't take that. Come on. Colise Coliseum Python. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be a training ground. Dungeons are a great source of uh, experience. Come on. One of the bridges go bang. One of the bridges bro break down. And this one. Maybe? Nah. Gosh. <laughs> Shot the guy in the butt. Little bugs. Okay, there's a 
bomb yet. Oh, well, we have bombed it. The hell? This thing just came out of nowhere. Uh, come on. Die already. Uh, I don't want it. No. Boss. Oh shit, so many of them. Come on. Yeah, I'm so immersed in the game right now, so, <laughs> so I'm not saying a lot, uh, an awful lot. Come on. Shoot. Oh, another one. Third, number three. Wait, well, I think there might be an enemy. Yeah, there is. Get out the way, guys! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think the guy is new. Yeah, man guy, man got a bit too, uh... How can I say? Got a bit too... Impulsive. Yeah, we need we need one more, one more. Activate one more of those chains. We need one more, one more. Where's he going? Oh. Run for your life! Wait, I'm not sure if that is the right way. Is it me or are we going back? Oh. Maybe not. No, 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 we're not going. We're, we're, I think we're going. Uh, I think. Yeah, we're going to the correct way, I think. Yeah, there we are. Where are these guys going? Part of the party. Huh. Huh. You know, I can't, I can't wait to get the raids started, but we're not, I don't think we're going to be doing the raids until the end of the Rum Reborn. It'll be the Crystal Tower. We're going to be doing that one first. It's long. <laughs> it's very, very long. It's a. Uh, it pays homage to uh, Final Fantasy III. It's got it's got like cloud of darkness. It's got clouds of darkness and uh, the emperor, emperor in it. Hopefully this time around I get to fight Bahamut. I couldn't do it in my previous playthrough, and I've already I've already said the reason why. Stay around here. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, this one. Electrify, get the way. Electricity attack, it will do, do a hell of a ton of damage. Sorry, it will do a hell of a ton of damage. We gotta move, we gotta move back. Get out of the way. Defeated a rake amateur to challenge one who has done who's played this game for centuries. Well, slight exaggeration, but if you get the point. Oh, wait, we've got one more. We've got one more objective. Why you attack him? We should kill the bomb first and then attack him. You are defeated. You know, I was talking about my uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh openings. I might start doing some Yu-Gi-Oh openings on, on, on my. On, I might start <laughs> streaming Yu-Gi-Oh openings. But you know, I'll get to that in a bit. names. Right on. Descend now. Come try me, you little punks! Attacking my colleagues like that. What the hell? Oh, sorry, my colleagues, my partners. Yeah, we have each other's backs. Get out the way! Hey, how come he didn't die? Could have killed him. Should have killed him too. If he can kill us, it kills him. I don't understand the physics, the physics of that. What Oh hell. The whole of the bestiary will be sealed in 15 seconds.
Where'd you go? You're about to start without me. Somebody used the limit break already, no way. Ah, oh, great, now we have to get it all over again. We need it though. Kill these things so they don't. You know, he's on his last legs, so. Yeah, it's, it's over. We won. Halatali done. What level am I? Oh wow, not not too far until level thirty. Did we move on? Should I? So yeah, like we done it already, but I'll skip it. I lost my. And there is yeah, we couldn't see uh, Alphino's speech, but okay, what can you do? Now the thing is that, but there is something as well. Alphino's voice, vo vo voice actor changed from uh, after Rome Reborn. We got a completely new actor. I prefer the original one over the new one we got, but what can you do? I think there may have been some disagreement between them or something, but. Oh, wait, is this up here? Since I'm here already. Now, I might as well do the, the Lancer mission. So, 9 9. Eh, not that, not that far to level 30. Lances in succession. Next. Oh. <laughs> Grizzled Lancer. Next. The next two 
suffer, next to die. The next to get beat. Oh, the grizzly sharp eyed lancer. Yeah, it's over. Enough, put put up your lance. Defeated. Well done now. Your levels are not, 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 not over synced. What's I've done? Most impressive. You are ready to face the trial. Yet I did not exaggerate when I said it would be dangerous. Make no mistake. To take this to the test to risk death. No, this will you proceed. Of course. You disappoint me. Back again, are you? That man is only a soul. It's the soul in this pathetic excuse for a guild who shows any promise. Which is why I counseled him to leave you. Alas, he chose to remain in your house of cravens. Such a waste. <laughs> he is a real a-hole, honestly, Falkus. This guild has outlived its purpose, and I mean to see its door shut and barred for good. If you wish to object, I invite you to do so with lance in hand. You do not want... You do not want for confidence, but answer me this. What grudge do you hold against us? For wisdom, do you choose this of all crusades? I detest cravens who proclaim their courage and like, like nothing better than to crush them. That is my reason. Not a reason. Well, the fixity of your purpose is clear. Even if your reasoning is not. So be it. Suffice it to say, you will not have your way without a fight. But do you presume that I will be your opponent? But do you not presume that I will be your opponent? No. You must face the Lancer over whom you so grandly claimed mentorship. The one among us whose potential you condescend to acknowledge. Now I shall represent us. As Guildmaster, I wager the fate of the guild upon his lance. Ha! Huh. Do as you will, coward. It is your guild to throw away. You may even set the terms of the contest. Very well, Nam. But our... Nam is here to undertake a trial. I challenge you to complete the task before he does. You are to travel to the... <laughs> you are to travel to Ishrad and prove your courage before the Lord of the Bramble Patch. Oh, my God. <laughs> He is a giant amongst boars, unrivaled in strength and savagery, and ruler over all his kind. You must go before, before this fierce creature and stand your ground. Know, though, that the Lord of the Bramble Patch will not grant an audience to just anyone. You must need to present him an offering of the bloody tusks of his subjects, the wild boar, boars that inhabit his domain. When you have prepared your offering, leave it upon an area trampled of a trampled earth. If you join to the stench of blood, the Lord of the Bramble Patch will soon appear. That is all. Are there any questions? None. No? Then the trial commence. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually this is actually a bit of fun a bit of a funny mission, this. But yeah, you guys will see for yourself selves. Okay, I'd like to, just in case the, the broadcast gets cut, you know, I'd like to apologize in advance, just in case. Like, I don't think it will happen, not right now, but I'm just saying, just, just in case. Bloody boar tusks from the wild boars. Ha! <sighs> ah, oh, man. So upset we can't use mounts yet, but what can you do? I think that the, the last boss in this in the Realm Reborn is actually it's just uh, 
It is beautiful. It's just superb. It's a superb, like, superb boss fight. It was a great way, a great way to start the. I think it was a great way to start and end the. Sorry, it was a great way to start all the expansions as a whole, and it was a great way to end the first expansion. It was just. Uh, it's probably my favorite. It's probably my favorite boss fight. Probably my favorite boss fight in all. What's it called? Uh, in all in all the expansions, probably my favorite favorite boss fight. I think the second one was good. Second one was good. Third one was good. But I if personally I would say the second one was probably ugh. Damn it, I can't choose. <laughs> like I haven't played the Shadowbringer, so I can't comment on that just yet. But I mean they're all good in the in their own way, but it's just the first one just trumps all of them. It's just who, who you battle is more bi it's because of what you battle and who you battle. We are set to do battle. Yeah. Or oh, just, you know, me and my friend, we may, depending on how my friend is feeling, he, we might do the Resident Evil stream tonight uh, at 9. At 9. But, uh, you know, I've got to see if it's up to him. If not tonight, then definitely tomorrow. But, you know, because we're going to pair up to do it. And, like, unfortunately, I don't know his schedule. So... Yeah. We'll be playing Resident Evil 5, so... Oh wait, I could've gone from Rudania. Nice. Replacement, col color, swinophobia. Have I been in this part? Okay, so, so, oh yeah, the Sylphlands. Oh yeah, Ramu is in this, but we don't fight him. I don't think we fight him. We don't... I mean, you see the, uh, the vis visage of uh, Ramu, the Thunder God, but... I don't think we fight him in the first expansion. We'll probably fight him in the second one. Okay, I'm gonna tune myself to the... Come to think about it, you're thinking about it now. We don't do a lot of, um... You fight... We, we, we fight Ifrit an awful lot, but... We don't seem to, like, you know, fight Ramu all that much. You don't, you don't see him. He's like lurking in the background quite a lot of the time. I mean, 15, 15, you know, they, they, they glorify the hell out of him. Yeah. It's just like you, 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 you almost always, if it will be the guy you fight. Sometimes you fight Bahamut. You don't really fight Shiva. Shiva's another one, you don't really fight her. And Ramu's another one, you don't really fight her, fight him either. It's usually Ifrit and 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 occasionally Bahamut. Because I know you fight Bahamut in four. You can fight Bahamut in four. You fight Bahamut in five, and you fight Bahamut in six. In number seven, it's just like oh my god, it's just like Bahamut. It's like Bahamut's got brothers. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. He's got brothers. Yeah. In eight. In eight, yeah, you fight him again in eight. In nine, you don't fight him. I think. No, in nine you don't fight him. I don't think you fight him directly. You fight him in a cutscene. Yeah. Oh my god, you could feel family, bro. First. Cheers, mate. Where are the others? Ah, oh, we've got more here. Nice. Ma. Uh, uh, yeah, here we are. The ranger. Yeah, can you use uh, heavy? Sick. 
six. We need four more. Come on. Blood of the dragon. I might have to, uh, what's it called? After I unlock the Dragoon job class, I might have to reform the thing a little bit. I might have to uh, change the way I uh, well, button them. Like the, 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 the technique, the button setup. One more. It's always that. It's always that last one that always kind of like. Wow, hoglet. No, no. It's it's always that last one that always goes like that you can't find. Come on, where are you? Oh, there it is. There he is. <laughs> oh, I feel it's good to do full frost. How it feels to do full frost. Oh, there it is. Trampled earth. This thing is gigantic, and you'll see for yourself. Not your regular. It isn't your regular. Um, like it's not like your regular like boar. Look at it, it's humongous. doing anything. But that man, 
massive. Could feed a fucking could feed like twelve families with that. With the meat on that. <laughs> wow, fucking hell. Look like a total look like an ant compared to him. You shan't find much sport in these two. Ah, the familiarity, they know each other, they're friends. Come back another day, my friend. They're mates, they know each other. Well done now, you have completed the trial. Actually, now you see the truth in my words, hurling yourself in the midst of danger is not courage, it's, it is folly. No, this proves nothing. I refuse. I refuse to accept. What time? You gotta accept that. Saved your life, punk. Technically speaking. <laughs> intimidated. You refuse to accept the weakness within you. No, now. Leave him be. Your work here is done. Return to the guild and I shall see you presently. Well, I have to go there to get to, to head to Limsalumensa anyway. Return to Nukadon. You know, th there's a game I can't wait for c coming out in February, and I can't wait to bang it out. It's gonna uh, fucking uh, bravely default. I'm gonna do a like fat stream on that. Oh my god, I played I played Div Div Blech. I played bravely default one on the on on the DS or 3DS, and I played uh, br br bravely bravely default end layer. Both of them, both of them, good games. Is good. Wait, crystal's right here. Why am I running around? Nice. <laughs> I will not lie to you. You are no match for the Lord of Bramble Patch. Had you betrayed any hint of fear, he would have gored you in the space of a moment and feasted on your entrails. But you stood your ground, holding fast to your composure and resolve. Thus, were you able to stay, stare terror in the face and survive unscathed. Lord Nam, you have the courage, the greatest hurdle in the quest to become master of your own courage. Yeah. You may now bring bare full bear the full extent of your abilities upon even the mightiest of foes. As for Falcos, well, if there's a shred of reason left in him, he will have learned the self-same lesson as you did this day. Painful though this experience must surely have been, one can only hope that it will serve to open his eyes to the truth. Go forth now, prepare yourself for further trials. I look forward to our meeting, yeah. Questions and uh... it is good to see you again, Nam. I'm stronger than we last spoke. Plainly, you have devoted many hours of training, which is just as well, for I have a mind set for your next task. Ta ah, ne next task. At the Bramble Patch, you came to grasp the true meaning of courage. I would have you put that courage to the proof before proof before the three masters of our art. In the many years they began their training with these walls, these men have led different lives, yet to share the distinct being ah 
distinction of being the regarded amongst the finest lancers of their time. But just as once looked in their eyes, just as they once looked to their seniors for inspiration, so shall you, so ah, so too shall you look to them. By availing yourself to their wisdom, you will take another step toward fully becoming a fully fledged lancer. I guess so. The first instructor is named Matthew. Seek him out as the out out at Amis Amar Amar. Oh my God, butcher this name. Amar recites spire in the East Road, where he serves as a frontier sentry. The long years at his post have honed Mathabon's perception. No detail skips the man's piercing gaze. Present you before him for inspection. Now, do as he bids you. I will do it, but I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna head to Limsa. Do you know I had to hold off first, then I'll do it in order. I had to hold off first, then I'll head to Limsa. Actually, you know what? I had to Limsa first, and then I'll head to Ulda. Because memory says you might, I'll have to end up in the Waking Sands, and the Waking Sands is in Ulda, so. battle with the other other primals. I think Titan will be next and after Titan will be Garuda. Uh, I'm just waiting for that Shiva fight. Oh my god, the Shiva fight is so... Oh my god, the music, the soundtrack on that is just wicked. I think what I'll do is... I will see the free ceremonies and after that I'll call it a day. This is like a maze. Wait, I don't think I... Did I? I think I have. Yeah, I have. to remember that later on it were to unlock the Dragoon class I have to uh, do a level 15 Marauder. I think I say I gotta get to I gotta do be a Marauder and I have to reach level 15. For some odd reason it's a prerequisite but what can you do? Oops, 
we are. The big one. The big crystal. Crystal. Oh no. I already attuned to it. there. Oh wow, so many people. How many people do this mission? Like? How you attend the remembrance service? Be quick, the admiral is due to give her address at any moment. Proceed to the stateroom! The Garleans are another matter altogether! So much for our <laughs> Scottish. alliance. It's sunk beyond the seabed. Brothers and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty crimson standard. And tell me your hearts do not swell with pride. Seven hundred summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. In that time, guided by the mother of oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Did you look as the Admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. Yeah, I saw I saw prefer his voice like then that then to the one he's got now in the other expansions. The crimson field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the black longship represents a pirate vessel. When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. All answered the call, from the Knights of the Barracuda to Hilthier's bloody executioners. And together, we met our would-be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. I swear to you, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea. Salute. Freedom. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. Much as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. It has been five long years since the calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still the wounds of the calamity fester and weep. When I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. The Sahagin creep ashore seeking blood for their accursed god. Leviathan. Those fish buck the bastards. Have risen? While the mines of Ogomoro spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Garlean Empire. 
Even now, the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. We are well nigh surrounded. Yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds below deck? There is but one course left to us. One bearing that will bring us victory over the Beast Hordes and the Empire both. And see this ship safe to port. We must mend the rift the Calamity has reopened twixt Pirate and Maelstrom, and stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming Tempest. Mark ye well, a crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea, Gather beneath the undying crimson standard and pledge me your strength, your skill, your wisdom. And with the guidance of the navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. Long live the Admiral! Remove him! Gather the lads! Oh, where's me cutlass? I'll follow ye to the seven hells, Admiral! Okay, I used to like this speech, now I'm just like, I don't know. Fancy like, meeting you again. I'm not gonna lie, this, this... Before, when I first played the game, I thought it was the... I thought it was the sickest thing I ever heard, but now, thinking about it now, it's just like... It's sort of putting me to sleep. As the Admiral mentioned her in her, in her address, Limsa Mensa is plagued by two beast tribes. The first are the fish like Sahajin, worshippers of the primal Leviathan. The second are the kobolds who dwell beneath the earth and take the primal titan for their god. As, as if the beast tribes business wasn't troublesome enough, the Galeons have chosen to erect a fortress right in the Lominsen's backyard. That is to say, no sort of internal strife. As a nation of pirates, there is no end to the blood feuds between the various factions, and while they fight amongst themselves, the Guardians wet their blades and watch. If the Lominsons are to have any hope of withstanding the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. The princes must be set aside, and the problem will be dealt with once and for all. To this end, I expect that they will soon take decisive action against the beast tribes. Mark my words, the Maelstrom standard will be drenched in a deeper shade of crimson ear long. <laughs> that capable adventure like, capable, like you would be a valuable addition to their crew is beyond question. Alice is really cold, honestly, at the beginning. So once we take this last speech, we're gonna call it call it quits. God damn, it's been almost an hour thirty minutes. Lift attend. Order. <laughs> older. Older. Oh, order. Sorry, just getting be be a banner. It's the father Boulder theme. When you have to fight, uh, where like you got to fight um Boulder. 
It's like you fight him at the end of uh, Bayonetta 1 and you fight him like in the middle of Bayonetta 2. But like his young version. You will be the first Umbra Witch to die at my hand. So as I was saying, yeah, I might do my. I got a. Uh, I got like eight boxes, like of um, of of well, well you you get boxes coming in. That's, I don't. I don't think. Wait, whether I'm. Oh, am I older? Yeah, I got eight boxes of that. Um, I say eight Yu-Gi-Oh boxes coming in. I like the beginning of February because the new packs coming out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can try it or like do a stream, open it up here, open it up in front of everyone here. I've said this before, this is the worst place to put a, put a shard. Destination. Final. The final one. Antiquity, under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul Dynasty, we have wrought sand into gold. Where, by the grace and glory of Naldar, have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered. I speak of Uldar. <laughs> putting me to sleep, man. <laughs> Get this done quickly. There, at the Flame General's back, flies the Grand Company's standard. <laughs> Note the sigil. The golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. Great and many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, on the killing fields of Cartano, none spent more in blood and gold than we. Thus was the Seventh Imperial Legion laid low. So that's how it happened. How soon history forgets. Yet many left our gates never to return. Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters, that they might know happiness in the great beyond, as Thor's honored guests. If the fates were fair, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, but five years into this seventh umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice which granted us our strength is all but dead. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden, and enthralled. Uh, Toki, what's up, bruv? Yeah. I've been, <laughs> I've been begging for it. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Oh my god, it's just Where is the just steel of the righteous? Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting rather close to it. So, um I've been dreading to I've been dreading to get close to it, fucking hell. It's just uh, all the travelling and everything, it's just this horrid. The great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save. You who call this living, dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. It is but a... Uh... Our enemies surround us. The savage hordes of the Amalja wait beside our roads, strangling the lifelines of trade. 
Meanwhile, the Garleans make mock of our borders and despoil our land of its... We stand on a precipice, yet we do not act. Whether trader or soldier, monetarist or royalist, all must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Uh. So that's it, huh? Victory I had forgotten. It's been ages. Hand hand. Ye who seek glory and wealth, look not to what little you can snatch from your neighbor, but to the boundless wealth of the world beyond. Now is the time to unite. Now is the, the time to ride forth. We said you go back to the waiting sun, pick your own company, go to the job, company HQ, do an intro quest, and get chocolate bubbles. Oh, nice. In the name of the Sultana, it's good to know that it's happening I soon. Soon than later. Line not your own as the realm prospers. So shall Uldar. As Uldar prospers, so shall her people. Ya yeah, for Uldar! Together we are one. Your grace. Raoban? People of Ulda, I, Nanamo, 17th in the line of Ul, address you. Much has been made of the wealth of Ulda. Yet those who measure that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. For the true wealth of Ulda, Beloved oh, subjects, I bid you raise a lot to the torch of Ulda. The chocobo license is like 200 grand company seals. You can get that in like two fates near yeah, Dry Bomb. Oh. Yeah, I, had a, I remember at the beginning, I had a... Yeah, I was collecting the company seals, but like I, I don't give up on it and just continued more on the story. Yeah, you just. I was getting like some of them quite easily. The time is now. I believe. I believe. Fancy meeting you again. It does have a long history of conflict with the Amalja. Judging by the looks of the taste, I take it you have encountered them. <laughs> The Uldans do not shy from confrontation. If aught threatens their precious prosperity, they will seek to crush it. They nerfed that into the ground because I remember when I did it in ARR, it took 2,000... 2,000 seals. Was it? Was it really like that? I don't... I don't remember. Remember... Yeah, I think I probably got it after the nerf because I remember it was—I uh, got it quite easily, so it didn't take me all that long to get it. Yep, had to grind faithful. Like, oh damn! Yeah, they have been quiet these past five years. The gardens have not gone away. They have to grind faithful. Yeah, that, that there—that is long. <laughs> and I think when you play the challenge log thing did not exist back then. I think. Meanwhile, if you just continue to drive, and Ulda has no clear policy on how to deal with them, eh? even off the sword and its coffers bottomless. Yeah. Uh, that, that, yeah, I'll be honest, yeah, that, that, has, that is quite long, thinking it, looking at it. What brings me to the object? If it has been observed that the Alanja are summoning him with ever increasing. Nope. I don't remember when the challenge lock became a thing, it was so long ago. Yeah, I know it didn't exist at the bit. I know it didn't exist at the beginning. It, it, it became a thing after a while. Which brings me back to the subject of it. It's been observed that the, uh, I know that. But every time they do all dance, that is a, is a war. Small wonder then the immortal flames are eager to recruit more members. At such a desperate hour, in case us. Be a most addition to the ranks. God, she is so cold, honestly. Yeah, now nah, this is Mephilia, you are well. I hope I'll be correct in thinking that you made the final remembrance service has not concluded a moment ago, you say. What a coincidence. 
Jessica said, I trust you remember our guests from the grand companies. They're delighted to have them working sands. It would not keep them in suspense any longer. In short, hurry back. See a shortcut? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to. I don't think I'll be able to. Um, I'm not sure if I can see it now, cause yeah, just bad timing, mate. You came literally as as a. Uh, to to Limsa. Actually, you know what? I'll I'll, I'll check it. I can do one final thing before I go bye bye. Limsa, Limsa. What's this you want to show me? Take the earth up to the Arcanist skill. Of course I didn't. Where is it? Where is it? Where am I? Now I wonder what I wonder what this is you want to show me. This ought to be interesting. Wow, so many people. Faster once you have the ether or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I never did quite get to that. <laughs> once I got to, I just, I just uh, did the missions. So yeah, I'm here. Go and take the West Ferry to Vesper Bay. All right. I wonder what this is. Vesper Bay. Talk to the attendant back at the counter. Attendant. Uh. Which one? No, not you. No, not you. Exchange, not him. Yeah, back at the gate, you ran past them. Oh wait, there, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Ferry ticket to travel best with
I'm curious to see what this is. Instead of running from the horizon, you can just take this hop, skip to. Oh, that's it. Okay. Instead of running from horizon, you can just take this hop, skip. Oh, okay. I never thought of. Th I never thought of that. <laughs> well, I never used the ferries anyway all that much unless I was traveling from tra unless from traveling mission to mission. So. Learn something new. Ah, that's nice. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for that, Toki. Cheers for that. I thought it was a pain. It was a pain in the. Well, it was a pain in the. You know what? Every time I had to go to the horizon, and then what's it called? Having to run all the way here. Tata run. Cut like a minute of travel. Yeah, yeah definitely. Of course, definitely. By the way, when are we gonna see you put stuff up? Like, uh, like um, the what's it called? Like, uh, you said you were gonna. Didn't you say you were gonna do Eureka again? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see that. I wanna check that out. Minfilia. The Grand Company. As the IH Nation. Yeah. There are people that have played this for years, and that when I showed them that they say, what the. <laughs> yeah, when, when you first told me what Eureka was, even I thought. I, even I thought, what the fuck, too, so. <laughs> What's all this? <sighs> the gods only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. Hm. The wheels of change, change are in motion are regardless. Brother, are you certain this course is best? Of course it is. Whatever do you mean, dear sister? The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard waving rallies. As though the Calamity and Seventh Umbral Era warranted scarcely a mention. <laughs> well, of course they were standard waving rallies. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the Warriors of Light? None. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the Calamity? No, dear Alizé, they haven't forgotten these details. They have elected to omit them. Deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact, that the realm still bleeds. Needless to say, the beast tribes and their so remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. Our grandfather would never really? entrust the really? fate of the realm to despots who I thought it was the other way around. I, their convenience. I, prefer, I prefer these two over the, the ones we got after the fact. The hard voice actors for Alvin. I, don't, I prefer the original ones, maybe because I got used to them over, over the other ones. There must be another way to cure what ails this world, and I need to find it. You are most welcome to try. Our paths may differ, but our destination is the same. I should hope so. 
Yeah, Alfino. Al I don't know about Alice, but Alfino definitely. He sounds. He sounds way, way too full of himself. M m my lady, we are to escort you. Yeah. Hope does not come in. Yeah. Alfano is way too, to way too full of himself. Alice, I know. But prevent old ones from opening a new. I, don't, I, I, I think Alice was fine, but uh, yeah, Alfano definitely. He was way too, way he was way too full of, full of you know what. Well, anywho, brother. Unfortunately, Tokyo, I'm gonna have to head out, bro. I think it's just bad timing. You came literally, literally as I was about to go <laughs> after I got the speeches done, and then you showed me the the way out. Apolo apologize for that, bro. But, but man, put your stuff up. I wanna, I wanna check. I wanna, I wanna see your stuff. Like, uh, on, uh, on, uh, I wanna see. Yeah, I wanna see you stream, uh, stream, stream some stuff. Really? Like get back, get, get, get back in, innit? Like, like, <laughs> get back in, it, but you'll get the itch again. You get, you get the itch like I did. So, <laughs> okay. well, I know which one of you I'm picking, but I'm gonna pick one of you the the next time. We'll see. Yeah, man, we 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 definitely will. Yeah, come on, come on, bro. Don't be like that. Come on. Let's... <laughs> Just do. It. Well, uh, uh, anywho, brother. Like um. Well, uh, 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 well, anywho, bro. Um, I'm gonna be around. I'm gonna be around tomorrow if you're around, isn't it? Like uh, uh, I'll see you then. You uh, you look after yourself, and you guys too. For uh, what's it called um. I'll be back tomorrow, 6 6 p.m. UK time. And uh, yeah, we'll see if they get that Resident Evil stream. Uh, get that Resident Evil stream. What's it called? Like set up either either nine or ten today or tomorrow or, or tomorrow. Well, anywho, yeah. Well, you well, everyone, you take care. And Tokyo, you take care. You take care of yourself. I'll see you. I'll see you when I see you in it. Anyway, you're king out. <laughs>